Ladies and gentlemen, Mad Mel Kuyper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like an asshole, yeah, Mad Mel. Well, what the fuck is this? Whoa. Okay? He's shitting me. You guys doing this to me, making me look like an asshole? No. He's trying to Siciliano me, okay? This is bullshit. No. All right? No, no, no. I don't want to hear it, okay? We're not, wanna... we're not in your room. We're not in your office. What I, don't, that... I didn't set this up. You, okay, hey, listen. I've been at this a long time, Pat. All right? You understand? I've been at it a long time. You think I'm going to make myself look like an asshole on national TV? Okay? I wasn't, I wasn't born yesterday, pal. Hey, here we go. Look, I'll stand up. I'll be you. I'll move around, you know, do all this you know, happy bullshit. <laughs> Does that make you happy? Is that all right? Jesus Christ, I mean, already. I want you to be comfortable. I want you to be comfortable. I don't want this to how this to stay. Well, it already, it already happened. I can see it right now. You know, all the clips going, hey, look at Kuiper. What was this guy, 311? I mean, it's bullshit, you know. Jeez. Biggest week of my life. On the precipice of the biggest week of my life, and you're making me look like an asshole intentionally. It wasn't All me. I do for you guys. Whoa. All I do for you guys. It wasn't us. God, it wasn't us. No. It was you. You said it's your camera. It had to be your people. You. Right, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to, you know, i got to find a producer around here. I'm going to. Fucking smack him in the mouth because that's unacceptable, okay? A little See, goddamn respect. Seems like you're a little bit on edge, and obviously you did get embarrassed there to start to say, you look tiny, didn't he? You look God, yeah, he you looked looked bad. So yeah, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. All right, but not you, tiny. All right, you're, hey, you're super tall. You're super mm -hmm. tall. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, Big boy. I, I don't want to keep pointing out things, but uh, no tie today, missing a button. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, Pat, you know, it's casual Friday, all right? Casual Friday. I've been busting my ass for weeks on end now. Uh, actually, may have lost my glasses. Uh, not no. not jacked up about that. Those are prescription glasses. I do need those uh, outside of uh, what I do here. And yeah, so I, I look like Harry Carey with the glasses on, okay? You know, hey, Mel, how you doing? You look great. I look like an asshole. I understand, but it's casual Friday. Don't need a tie. Um, I don't want to, you know, kind of ruin anything, but Let's just say uh, Mad Mel's going to be looking pretty dapper come Thursday. Okay. okay. All right. Well, we, we can't wait to see that. And we are less than a week away from the draft. What is the big news right now? You think, Mad Mel, where are you at right now in the whole process? Well, uh, my process is pretty pretty much done. I'd say the biggest news, Pat, um, i got to give you guys flowers. The sperm whale. The, you know, the, the big old whale, Bill Belichick, is joining you guys' draft. That's yeah. right. Unbelievable. That's Unbelievable. Right. You too, Matt Mel. You'll be there as well, well obviously. Well, absolutely. Um, uh, yeah, you know, so, so I'm excited. Uh, I, I know Bill mentioned on you guys' show the other day that at this point, you know, a lot of NFL teams, general managers don't exactly know what they're doing yet. Um, all due respect, I completely disagree. Okay, the hay is in the barn. Hey, is in the barn at this point. Whoa. We are, you know, just uh, six days out from the NFL draft. Every single one of these teams knows exactly what they're going to do, know exactly what prospects they'd like to take in the first round. So, uh, so yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to try to be amicable with Coach Belichick. Obviously, in the past, I've had a thing or two uh, that I've had to say about his draft process. Hey, maybe a reach here, maybe a reach there, Whoa. you know. Maybe I, I've, I've given out a couple C-minus, D-plus draft grades. Oh, so boy. What? Yeah, well, you know, uh, hey, it happens, okay? I'm a professional just like he's a professional. Um, and I will try to be amicable as I can. But, again, i just like to remind everybody, I put out my draft board every single year. Okay, this is the 41st year in a row I've been doing this draft. Uh, suffice to say, I'm the king at this shit. Okay, everybody knows Ooh. it. It's 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 no you know that's no secret. Okay, uh, Bill's never had to put out his draft board before, so you know maybe I'm looking forward to kind of chopping chopping it up with him. You know, talking shop, maybe giving him a, a pointer or two about how you do this media thing oh. in terms of presenting oh, okay. your draft board to the masses. <laughs> okay, that's very kind of you because you you just called yourself the king of this shit and yep. he's the goat of this shit. So we True. got a king and a goat on the same set. Wow. Unreal. One self-proclaimed, one's everybody else says, but nonetheless Fair. potentially. <laughs> Fair. Connor's got a question for you, Mad Mel. Mad Mel, looking good. Honestly, the new glasses, I know you're bummed. They might work, okay, just so you know. Uh, looking at that draft board, as you mentioned, um, Jaden Daniels last night, some massive movement at the number two betting odds at ESPN Bet. Obviously, yesterday, plus 240 for Drake May. And today he's minus 105. That is huge movement, Mel. What's going on there, do you think? Well, I'm not sure. You know, I think teams get a little skittish the closer we get to the draft. Again, we're talking about a franchise quarterback, CEO of your team, a guy who's going to lead you to the promised land. And I think one thing that these teams are really sick and tired of is you get an agent out here who, you know, 
bumping his gums, flapping them around. Everyone would just like this guy to shut the fuck up, okay, and let it be about the player. I understand he's maybe trying to do the best thing for Jaden Daniels, but at the end of the day, you know, he could be the, the guy who's who's forcing Jaden Daniels to kind of slide down a couple draft boards. Mm. Not having these issues with Drake May. Don't have some loudmouth jackass popping off saying, hey, my guy should be going here, my guy should be going there. Okay. My guy wants this, my guy wants that. You're not getting that with Drake May. By all accounts, great guy, great teammate, great family. So that could be why you're seeing a little bit of line movement uh, because Washington, you know, they, they may be getting cold feet. Well, Jaden Daniels' line moves big. Drake May's line moves big. Whoa. What do they know is the question. Do they know more than Mad Mel? Absolutely no not. Absolutely not. But, you know, hey, uh, it's, it, we're, we're, no, Connor, they're, they're, respectfully, shut your goddamn mouth, okay? They do not know more than I do. We're okay. six days before the draft, okay? Everyone wants to play this game, and that's fine, okay? That's fine, but... I'll, Let's just say this, okay? Don't get embarrassed, all right? Because there are pros of the pros when it comes to this. I'm one of them. I know exactly what's going on. So. What's going on with your Dallas Cowboys? Hell? Is it melting because of how hot you have been mm -hmm. this morning? I mean, it is hot as hell in here. That that Cowboys helmet, other way, my, my apologies. Uh, that Cowboys helmet is actually uh, Roger Staubach's, okay? Oh, from, oh, from, yeah, oh, so nice. it's, it's about 50, 60 years old. So uh, it, it might be time to maybe get one of the, you know, Revo Speed Revolution helmets, <laughs> one of the new helmets, uh, maybe a new shut. We'll see. Uh, yeah, people are saying it's fake. Yeah. No, no, people are saying it's fake. They're saying there's no way an actual helmet would ever melt like yeah, that. Yeah, all those helmets they're calling into question now. Yeah, and the photo and the pennant, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's starting to call The computer, look at the computer. Is that yeah. the original Apple? Is what Maggie, I think, is what <laughs> yep, it was? Yep, that's one of the old IMAX uh, when Steve Jobs named after uh, Lisa. Actually, it was Lisa, uh, you know, named after his daughter who he kind of treated like shit for about 30 years. And then at the very end, you know, it was God like. busy. Oh, well, he's very busy. Bad you know? dad, ba bad, bad dad, dad terrible bad dad. dad. But, it, but it all came around because, you know, if you remember, if you watch the movie at the very end, he said, hey, I'm going to put a thousand songs in your pocket. And she was, she was kind of the inspiration for that. So maybe he's not a bad dad. <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I don't know how many people are disputing. Uh, but hey, Mad Mel, you know more than us. He, remember, to start this conversation today, he knew more than Bill. Yes. Belichick. Yeah. Which, yeah, he said, I know. About draft boards. About draft boards. No, because Bill said that, well, yeah, that, well, that's what, what we're talking one about. One and the same. Yeah, that's the draft. That is the, that's what we're all talking about here. So I appreciate that you just know more than everybody. 41 years doing drafts, though. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Tone Diggs has a question for you, Mel. Yeah, Mr. Mad, one of the hot-button teams in this draft is the New York Football Giants. I believe in your latest mock, you had them taking a wide receiver, uh, and that came out a little bit ago. Do you still have them taking a wide receiver uh, at that position? Well, uh, you know, this is one of those things that it, it's – Daniel Jones has forced my hand here, okay? <laughs> he has forced my hand. What? I said last week, you know, or last time I was on with you guys, hey, New York football giants, you know, Brian Dable, Joe Shane, they understand that their asses are in the jackpot right now. They need to win, and they need to win soon. Can Daniel Jones be that guy? Well, that remains to be seen. And then we got the press conference, okay? We got the press conference. Which one? You know, oh. yeah, you know which one, oh. okay? Daniel Jones, his eyes bugging out of his head like a goddamn goofball. <laughs> uh, I mean... He's focused. Focused? You think? Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, we can call this guy focused. He looks like a complete jackass. Whoa. Okay, and I understand it's not easy I deal know. with the New York media. They've basically said for years now, "Hey, this guy sucks. He turns the ball over all the time." Yeah, every once in a while, he'll have an 80-yard run, trip over his own feet, and then he'll end up, you know, kicking a field goal, not scoring a touchdown. But I mean, you just—that's—that's that's not an NFL quarterback. That's not a starting quarterback. That's not a guy who's going to win you a Super Bowl. So at this point, you know, I would rather have. You know, the uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking the Giants are moving. I understand you guys had Peter Schrager on yesterday. You know, he thinks that J.J. McCarthy potentially could be going to the Giants. Any one of the guys in this draft pool is better than Daniel Jones, okay? I don't care who it is. Whoa. You got that guy's That's eyes. That's a big statement. Huge. Bit, well, okay, that, hey, you know what? You want to be a franchise quarterback? You don't do that kind of shit in a press conference. Okay. You All just right. don't. Eyes bugging out of your head. Oh, geez, I, I don't know what's going on here. Can't have it. <laughs> Can't win with it. Won't win with it. So I think the Giants, you know, that I would guess John Mara saw that and, and basically, hey, boom, red alert, okay? Dable, Shane, 
figure it out. Get a quarterback in here. If we have to trade up to two or three or wherever, you got to do it because we're not going into next season with this guy and his goddamn eyes bursting out of out of their sockets. A lot you of can't money, do it. A lot of money go to Daniel Jones, too. So I think that adds yeah. into the conversation and obviously the judgment because whenever you get paid a certain amount to carry a team, if you don't, you're going to be judged by the likes of sports media, let alone somebody who's looking at a draft, staring down quarterbacks that he's been bopping to for at least three months now, four months in the entire process. Yeah, but yeah. Dan Jones, I mean, he, he won a playoff game in Minnesota, man. Right. Oh, That's pretty re- good. Do you recall? Pretty good. You think I – oh, okay. You know, what, do we want to kiss this guy's ass, throw him, uh, throw him a birthday party for winning a playoff game? Well, a playoff we, party. Yeah. Maybe a playoff party. We try to win playoff games. We try to win Super Bowls. You know, you think John Mara's going to go mm-hmm. back and say, hey, hey, yeah, you the hell out of the Vikings who under you're overachieved all season. You know, congratulations. <laughs> uh, hey, Connor, do you remember what they did the, the game after that? Uh, I don't recall, actually. Yeah, I think it was like 38 nothing at the end of the first quarter against the Eagles, and everyone was saying, oh, geez, maybe we were wrong. Maybe Dan Jones is a piece of shit. <laughs> hey, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Well, you said we. We would imply. I know the pronouns. Well, yeah, I understand. I, I, I'm talking New York media. I'm talking NFL media. I'm talking about people who study the game. You guys especially. I, I don't have the tape. I don't remember exactly what you said, but I don't think anyone was coming in the day after that Philadelphia Eagles playoff game saying, hey, Dan Jones, let's let's sign this guy to an extension. Let's give him another $150 million. <laughs> I don't remember anyone saying that, Pat. Well, it was overreaction Monday, I'd assume, and yeah. who knows what's said then, obviously. Yeah. That is... Uh, as part of the problem of our show. And I guess the allure yeah, yeah. as well. Uh, and I know that this has not worked out well oh, no. a couple different times now because, yep, you know what I'm doing? Yeah, sure do. Sure do. Go ahead. Hey, your show, not mine. Go ahead. Ty Schmidt has a question for you. Mad Mel, listen, I know we've had our differences, okay, but I do have a question that I'd love to uh, to get an answer from you on as we are, you know, right in front of the draft here. We had Peter Schrager on yesterday, and um, he was basically saying, hey, listen, Cooper DeGene, although he has worked out unbelievably well, he seems to be healthy. A lot of teams you know, said if he was healthy, then he's probably a top 15 pick. Schrage said that he looks at him more as like a 22 to 32 type of guy, maybe even a second round pick, which I think that's a little ridiculous being an Iowa guy and, and having seen him play for quite a bit. What is your opinion on Cooper DeGene? Because I know you are are somewhat high on him as well. Yeah, listen, I'm going to stop you there, okay? I'm going to stop you there. You're lucky that I'm even entertaining your question because, as everyone knows, I think you are a big bag of mashed up asshole. Whoa! That's just whoa, the way it, Hey, listen, come on. not everybody gets along. Not everybody needs to be buddies. Um, and I can't stand you. But with that being said, I will entertain your question. Yeah, listen, uh, I respect Peter Schrager. A lot of people respect Peter Schrager. Everyone knows his mock drafts are are second to well, I shouldn't say second to none. Usually second to mine uh, in terms of. Uh, nah, being I think Jan- Daniel Jeremiah was last yeah. year. Yeah, last and year. Then- D- hey, DJ's go. We're not talking about. I'm just talking. This is mono e mono. Me and Schrager. Okay. 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 DJ is obviously. DJ's the goat. You're the king. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bingo. Class bingo. We can. We we're, we're all in the barnyard. Okay. We're all in the barnyard. <laughs> uh, but I do. I'm the overseer. I do oversee the, the barnyard. King. The <laughs> king's on top. Yeah, yeah. exactly, King's exactly. Yeah. If, if I need to, you know, guys like uh, Pete Traeger, like I, you know, he he could be the goat. I I could slaughter him and you know feed his meat to my family uh, for a nice uh, okay. a nice dinner that night. Okay. Uh, but again, I love Traeger. I love Pete Traeger. Everybody does. He's the king of New York. You know, I'm the king of this shit. He's the king of New York. We can all be kings of something. Um, I do take. Umbridge, an issue with all the slander that he was putting out Cooper Jean, who, as everyone knows, one of my favorite prospects in this draft class. As of right now, I believe I have him slaughtered about number 17 of the Jacksonville Jaguars. What, what, what is there that has not been said that you can say again about this kid? He's an explosive, unbelievable athlete. He's long, he's rangy, great open field tackler. Yeah, he's a white guy, okay? So are we, are we going to hold that against him? I think you have in the past, yep. haven't you, Mel? We have that been something with Cooper Jean? Maybe other white guys, sure. Yeah, you know, hey, this guy's not <laughs> this guy's not athletic enough. He can't get it done at the next level. You know, didn't show me enough. Whether that be you know in big time college football, Power Five football, or you know smaller conference football, Cooper Jean showed everything he needed to show at the Power Five level. One of the toughest defenses in the history of college football at University of Iowa. Make no mistake about it. Cooper Jean is the great white hope. Okay, he is Ooh, the actual. Pre- Actual, well said. He is the prince who was promised, okay? I believe, again, Traeger, you know, hey, maybe this guy's going to play safety. Maybe he... <laughs> Pipe down, Pete. 
Okay? All right? This guy's not playing safety. He has all the requisite skills and talent, ranginess, athleticism, mm -hmm. burst, hip movement what? in order to be an outside cornerback. Okay? This guy does not need to move into the box. He doesn't need to play safety. He doesn't need to play nickel. Could he do all those things? Sure, because I believe he's one of the best football players in this class. But at the same time, we're looking at a potential, you know, 20-year 20, 20 pro at the cornerback position. What? I see, I don't know, uh, 15 to 18 Pro Bowls. What? Maybe a couple defensive players of the year. Wow. Ultimately culminating with his bust being, you know, placed right in the center of Canton in the Football Hall of Fame. That's how I feel about Cooper Jean. If you don't feel about that way as well, um, personally, I think you're a bit of a dipshit. And you okay. need to go back and look at the film <laughs> a little bit more. Okay. okay, we appreciate that, Matt Mel. Sounds like there's a little biasy there coming, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. It does yeah. sound like there's a little bit of an extra emotional. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you can call it biasy. I mean, sorry I watched the film. You're okay? right. Okay, you know? You're yeah. Right. The, 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 hey, the film's doing all the talking. You know, I'm just kind of regurgitating it, if you will. Speaking of the film, how happy are you that uh, draft season is almost coming to an end? Or do you just get started for the next year? Or have you already started for the next year? What What is the the rollout of the next six days up to the draft and then after the draft? What is Mad Mel Kuyper getting into? Yeah, so I'll take uh, maybe a day or two. Oh, no. Yeah, it, uh, Listen, I've, I've had an issue with my sound guy for a couple Yikes. years now. Oh, okay. no. I'm gonna, Already? I'm going to slap. Well, I don't know if it's my sound guy or if it's that son of a bitch. Oh, oh no. no. Wow. Oh, wow. No. It, it happened. He left his mic on the other week, too. Yeah, well, yeah, because when he left. When he left, yeah. yeah. We can still hear you. I don't know if you know that. If you watched it back, we could hear you when he stormed off camera. Uh, sorry, not stormed. Walked off yep. calmly mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. Well, I'm just trying to. This fucking thing, okay? <laughs> Every goddamn time I come on here, I try to, you know, pay you guys respect. Hey, give you a couple good answers. You know, be a good guy, be a good teammate. And then an asshole at my end, uh -huh. I'm done. Oh, I'm no. done. No. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Every time. Every fucking time. <laughs> This guy's laughing over here, making me look like an asshole. <laughs> Biggest week of my life. Oh, hey, hey, Matt Bell, that's hilarious. Hey, let's mute his mic. Let's make sure his mic cuts out. No, I don't know. I might not even go Troy. We can still hear you. Hello? A little bit. <laughs> you can still hear me? <laughs> hear this. Can't squeeze one. I don't want to shit in my ass, but I, I, I'm going to put this up to my butt and fart in it <laughs> as a show. <laughs> Thank you, Bad Mel. Love, love you, Bad love Mel. I hope everything works out better for you, Bad Mel. We really do. See you next oh, week. Oh, my God. What an, what an incredible... Oh! What an incredible thing. Uh, genuinely. Yeah. I'm so happy that it's uh, draft week. More yep. about that sound guy, though. <laughs> what sound guy? <laughs> guy's the chair dead. guy? Yeah, all of them. How about the tie guy? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the button, button, button man. Guy. Yeah. The glasses guy. Glass, yeah, whoever's holding his glasses. All right, let's dial. Hey, let's, let's, yeah. you know, let's, let's get serious. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's dive in. Biggest week let's, of his life. It's biggest week of his life, but also we, got, we, got, we still got to finish the show here. That's yeah. right. Good luck. He walked off, okay? Unprofessional. We won't do that. Never. No. But we are excited to see Mad Mel next Thursday, alongside Bill Belichick, myself, A.J. Hawk, D. Butch, Tone Diggs, mm -hmm. who will be on his own set huh? at Boston Connor. And uh, it's a shame Ty has to go back to Iowa. Yeah, yeah, he's got something going on with the family, yeah. so he will not be able to make it. But it should be an absolute blast, and we thank Mad Mel for his contributions ahead of time because uh -huh. we do feel like Thursday night is probably going to be his best night. Mm -hmm. He disagreed with Bill Belichick immediately upon coming on the show today. Shocking. Couldn't believe that. Did not. If anything, I, th I figured that would be the one person he might just take a look, maybe listen to, but I, I suppose not. That's just not a Mad Mel thing. You know, <laughs> he's been doing this 41 years, too. we got to pay respect to that.